As the sun sets at the apex point, Lookout invited guests and sponsors gathered to mark this special day. Representing the Queen was the British High Commissioner to PNG, Kit Scott. Baroque Rotary Club President Paul Barney said celebrating this important occasion is a sign that PNG as a Commonwealth country has evolved with the Queen as the head of state and the lighting of the bonfire signifies their celebration. It's very important to remember that in her time uh, we've had great stability and leadership across the world and through the Commonwealth. All around the world we have Commonwealth nations which will be celebrating today the same as we are. Yesterday, every Commonwealth country celebrated. This is the final era of the reigning Queen Elizabeth II. Her Platinum Jubilee is being celebrated this year in the Commonwealth of Nations to mark the 70 years anniversary of her title as Queen. Just finally a few words about Papua New Guinea and, and the Queen. She's been head of state since Papua New Guinea's independence, the only head of state that Papua New Guinea has known. She's visited three times, 1974, 77, 82, and her family, you know better than me, have been here many, many times, most recently uh, Princess Anne. And I've always been struck in my time here just how much affection there is and respect for Her Majesty uh, and everywhere I, everywhere I go. When I first paid my courtesy call, on His Excellency the Governor General, his first words to me were, welcome home. This is the first time that any British monarch celebrated a platinum jubilee. Grace Papiali, National, MTV News.